Ladies, I'm Laura Vitali, and today, upon your request, we are making cookie dough ice cream. I've had so many people ask for this recipe. It's insane, and it's actually really, really simple. And I also have some people asking me if cookie dough ice cream is just simply crushed up uh, chocolate chip cookies in ice cream. It's not, so today we're gonna make the real thing. It's so, so easy, and ice cream is something that I really only make in the summertime, so I'm always looking forward to sharing a new recipe with you. The recipe to make the custard is pretty simple and basic. You're gonna need some whole milk, heavy cream, egg yolks, sugar, I have a, so I have a little pinch of salt and either vanilla bean or I have got some vanilla bean paste here. So it makes my life a little bit easier. This is really easy. Now, we are gonna make the custard now and then I'll show you later how to make the cookie dough and then when we combine everything together, it is going to be mani. Okay, let's get started, it's so simple. I've got a large saucepan here and in here I'm going to add my cream and milk and then both right at the same time. Makes me feel fancy like that. And then we're gonna add in a good spoonful of the vanilla paste. You would need one vanilla bean that you would scrape down and get rid of, you know, take all the seeds out and put it in here, vanilla beans. Uh, but I'm using vanilla paste, so a nice healthy spoonful of that should do the trick. So I'm just gonna take this off. I'm gonna put this on my stove top. I'm gonna let this come to temperature to a simmer over about medium low heat. Now while my milk mixture is coming to a simmer, I'm going to just take my egg yolks and sugar with a little pinch of salt, and I'm gonna whisk these together until the mixture becomes really nice, thick, and pale in color. I'll show you what it looks like when it gets there. Basically, essentially, what we're making right now is the, um, kind of like a zabayone. Zabayone is nothing but, which I'll share with you in a different recipe, is just egg yolks, sugar, a little bit of booze, and you're good to go. But this needs to be whisked until it's really light and pale and about doubled in volume. I'll show you what it looks like when it's there. Keep an eye out on your milk mixture. You do not want it to come to a boil because if it does, it will split and then you're gonna have to start all over and waste all that milk and cream and vanilla. So keep an eye on that. It took just a couple of minutes and then you should be done with the egg yolk mixture as well. And you're getting awesome arm workout while you're at it. My milk is at the right temperature. You can see there's little bubbles that are starting to form around the edge of the pot, which is when I know it's at a perfect simmer. My egg yolk, as you can see, I'll show you the texture and the consistency. See, it kind of falls down as it on a ribbon. Oh, that's perfect. I'm gonna temper the egg yolks by just taking a little bit of my milk mixture, just about a half a cup or so. And this is all it's doing is tempering the egg yolks so that they don't kind of, you know, they don't get shocked when you pour them into the pan with the hot liquid. That's all you need to do. I'm going to now pour my egg yolk mixture into my pan. Very simple, just making it easy, easy, and very classic ice cream custard base. And now I'm going to look at the color of that. Look at that color. It just makes me so happy you have no idea. Okay, I am going to just switch back to my wooden spoon and I'm gonna cook this over about low heat until it thickens really nicely and it coats the back of my spoon. And I will show you what it looks like when it's there. Just make sure you keep this at a low heat and take your time and be gentle because if this comes to a boil or it gets too hot, it will split. It wants to split. Again, you will know when it splits and there is no going back. So just take your time, stir it like a figure in a figure eight motion, kind of like I'm doing right now and then just be patient. And when it gets nice and thick, you'll be able to notice it immediately. My custard is ready. It's been cooking for about six minutes and you can see it's coating the back of a spoon and if I run my finger down and the custard stays separated, you know it's thick enough. Doesn't really get any easier than that. I'm gonna pass this through a sieve just in case there's any eggshells remaining or anything curdled, whatever, it stays back. It doesn't get into your final mixture. So as you can see, this is smooth sailing all the way. That's how I like it, that's how I like it. Nice and smooth, there's really nothing, maybe a little little tiny bit of something remaining, but for the most part, everything is really nice and smooth. Okay, now, you need to wrap this with plastic wrap, and you wanna make sure that the plastic is actually touching the surface of the custard, because um, otherwise it just forms a really weird looking skin. 
that you don't want. It's definitely not gonna be smooth and delightful once you go ahead and freeze this. So I'm gonna pop this into the fridge. It needs to be in the fridge for about four to six hours or best overnight. That's even better. If you can put this in the, fri in the fridge overnight, it's even better. So I'm gonna leave this in. Um, it's pretty early in the, in the day, so I'll get to finish this this afternoon and I'll show you what it looks like once this is chilled. We'll get going on making our cookie dough and then we'll pull the whole thing off um, together. While the custard is chilling, we're gonna get going on making the cookie dough batter. Now we're actually making a chocolate chip cookie dough batter here. And now if that chocolate chip cookie dough, if that bothers you because nothing, none of this is gonna be cooked, so you're kinda eating raw cookie dough, which I love and I know everybody eats raw cookie dough at some point in their lives. Now if this bothers you, then you might wanna skip this ice cream um, in its entirety. You can make my chocolate ice cream, you can make my strawberry, mint chocolate chip, vanilla, whatever you want. I've got a ton of recipes on my website, but most of the time, cookie dough ice cream has actual cookie dough in it and that's what makes it so delicious. So we're gonna make like we would make chocolate chip cookies, but really easy. And to do that, you'll need some um, all-purpose flour. I've got a pinch of salt and I've got some instant espresso powder here, just a small little pinch, brown sugar, granulated sugar, some softened unsalted butter, an egg, vanilla extract. And what I have here are some chocolate chips that I pulsed in my food processor. So that you can see, I've got little rubbles, I've got some that are bigger, I've got some that are kind of whole. And I think the thing that I love about cookie dough ice cream is that you actually get bits and pieces of chocolate chips or chocolate throughout the entire ice cream. And I think just by pulsing it a few times and breaking the pieces up a bit just gives it a little more interest. And I think these itty bitty, almost dust like like pieces of the chocolate is what makes this so divine, in my opinion. So if you wanna skip doing that part, by all means do that, but I think it's kinda of crucial. And I also have a nine by 13 inch baking pan here, and I've got a big piece of parchment paper, cause you wanna make sure you can lift it up. That's sitting aside, so let's get going. I'm going to just cream together my butter and both kinds of sugar. I'm gonna do this just in a small little bowl, cause I don't feel like, uh, like getting my mixer out for just a small batch. So I'm just gonna mix these two together until combined. That's looking good enough. I'm gonna add in my egg. Again, you wanna make sure that whoever you're making this for will eat raw cookie dough. You just wanna make sure that you don't um, have anyone that can't eat raw egg or whatnot. Just give them a heads up. I'm gonna switch to my whisk briefly just to mix everything together a little bit better. Just mixing together the coffee and salt. Now I'm not adding any leavening agents to this, no baking soda. You don't need to, I mean, you're not baking it, so it's not gonna make a difference. I'm gonna put my egg mixture in here. Normally I would put the dry into my wet, but I switched both for some reason, and uh, the flour was in the bigger bowl, and I just wanted to have plenty of room to mix this together, and that's basically all I'm doing. I'm just gonna combine this until it forms into a dough. And then I can add in, I can actually add in my chocolate now because it's almost there. So I might as well, because I don't want to overwork this anyway. Add in my chocolate chip mixture. You can also add, um, take a bar of chocolate and chop that up if you wanted to. That would be lovely. Instead of adding chocolate chips, well, you can add mini chocolate chips. But you see what I mean when I say that I think this is so much better because that way you're really getting chocolate throughout every little teeny tiny bite of the cookie dough. Otherwise you just get chocolate chips here, a chocolate chip there, but I want chocolate completely infused throughout the entire cookie dough. So that's why I like to pulse it. And it's those kinds of little things that really make a difference. Otherwise, you know I would skip it. So, okay. Now I'm gonna put this close to me, get my cookie dough out of here. Oops, we'll fix that in a minute. Do not panic. I'm talking to myself, by the way. Now, all I'm doing, and this is, can be a little bit tricky, I'm trying to get this into a pretty thin layer because when we freeze this and I pull this out of the freezer, we're gonna need to chop it into small pieces. But clearly you can see that I'm not too worried about it getting it perfect, and I don't want you to be that worried about it either. And it doesn't have to be all one layer, I'm just doing it this way because it's easier to cut it once it's frozen. So, just gonna do that. And now I'm gonna pop this into my freezer, probably for several hours or however long it takes for the custard to chill. The, the more frozen, the better, the easier it's gonna be for us to chop it up. So I'm gonna pop this in, looks odd now, but trust me when I tell you, it works wonders. 
popping this in, waiting for my custard to get nice and cold, and then we'll go on and put it all in a little machine and uh, get that much closer to eating cookie dough ice cream. My custard was in the fridge overnight. I wasn't gonna leave it in there for a few hours, but then we had my aunt over and maybe a cocktail or two, and we decided to wait till tomorrow to have ice cream, which is good because it's the weekend, perfect time for entertaining and having ice cream. Now, I have my ice cream machine here, and you wanna make sure that the insert of your ice cream machine, which is this guy right here that's gonna basically freeze your ice cream for you, is frozen. Now, you wanna check always your manufacturer's instructions because every ice cream machine is different from another one, so mine says to put it in there overnight, so that's what I do, and it's really nice and solid frozen, which is really important. So make sure that you read your instructions because some might just take a couple of hours, but most of the time they'll take overnight. So now I have my really cold custard, which is absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at that. And this would be good on its own as is, um, over top of maybe berries or whatnot. I'm gonna pour that in there, get it all out. Okay, and now I'm just gonna turn this on. Now and again, check your manufacturer's instructions because it's going, the time is gonna vary. Mine takes a good 25 to 30 minutes to freeze the ice cream, but they're all so different. So I'm gonna wait for this to be pretty much, pretty much fully frozen, and then we'll get going on adding our cookie dough. All right, my ice cream is exactly where I want it. It's been about 25 minutes, and now I'm gonna take my cookie dough that was in the freezer overnight as well, which is what we want, and this is why I just do it on parchment because it's so easy. And now I just take a sharp knife, and in no particular way, I just, I'm gonna just chop this up into bite-sized pieces. That is it, you can, you really can do this uh, um, a couple different ways. Instead of doing it the way I'm doing it, you can take little teaspoons of the batter, you know, once you make it, and then put it on a baking sheet lined with parchment and freeze it that way, and then that you can just pl put them right into your ice cream machine. I tend to do it this way. I don't know why, I just think it's easier and uh, gets the job done a lot faster. And you can also leave certain pieces bigger or smaller, like that's Perfect. So now I'm just gonna go across and just rough choppage on everything until you get about bite-sized pieces. That's it. And I did want to mention that it sounds like this is really hard, but it, it's it's not. It just sounds hard because you were rough. You know, we're cutting through chocolate. Um, I just wanted to mention that because as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, you know, you can hear the crunch, but the crunch is just because we're chopping up the chocolate. So. Anyway, figured I'd let you guys know that. And now I'm just gonna take the pieces and then you can cut these as big or as small as you want. And you can add as much or as little as you want to your cookie dough batter, it's up to you. I'm gonna add most of it, but most likely not all of it because it's a lot. And then you can also add some to for people to serve, you know, sprinkle on top. And then just let them mix in as this is running. Yeah, buddy. Now I only added about half of the chocolate cookie dough mixture in here because I didn't want to add too, too much because then you can also have a hard time um, with your machine being able to handle all of that. But look at this. I mean, are you seeing what I'm seeing? And also, are you seeing how those little rubbles of chocolate kind of just spread all throughout the batter, and that's from when I took the chocolate pieces, the chocolate chips, and put them through the food processor, because that's just personally what I like. Obviously, you want big chocolate chips here and there, but why have a little bit when you can have chocolate throughout? Oh, look at that. I mean, just if you get up close, you can see that it's really creamy. It's got those big chunks of cookie dough, and I'm just gonna make myself a little ice cream, okay? Okay? Just, just, just a scoop, just a scoop on a cone, because I am deserving. Look, oh, look at that. Look at all the pieces. Oh. Mm. You'll love this. I promise, you will love this. It's so easy, tastes so much better than store-bought. I cannot stress it enough. It's insanely easy to do. Doesn't take a hard time, doesn't take any 
fancy ingredients. It's just very basic, but it's done the right way. And you can see, I mean, it's just, it's phenomenal. Look at the chocolate pieces in there. I'm trying to sing in my head, but. Laura in the kitchen.com will have the recipe written for you. Let me know what ice cream you want to see next. Hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I'm useless with my left hand. What is this? What is this? <laughs> useless, I tell you. Useless. Come on. Tony Horton. You got nothing on this. And four. While our custard. Can't think of the word. <laughs> I was gonna say with our beer. Well, cookie dough ice cream in the house. Yo.